So after a while, I originally had this pre-ordered. I had to cancel it just because so many things had shipped. I had to cancel something. I didn't have enough money. So finally got around to being able to pick this up through um, so Shop Disney. Uh, so this is our Return of the Jedi six pack. This is our second wave of retro figures. Um, box looks really cool. Uh, of course, we've had these type of boxes with uh, the Star Wars figures already. See the cool pictures that we have there. The nice Return I've, the Return of the Jedi logo has always been one of my favorites. Probably because probably my earliest memories of collecting Star Wars figures when I was a kid I was seven years old. Actually, six years old when Return of the Jedi came out. Mm, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. I see it's so nice you can pack six figures in there because they're so small so here they are all out of the package and they all come uh, unpunched they're still on this very thin card that we've been getting with the retro collection uh, ultimately i love this set because it's got i know some people are like ah, do we need another set of return of the jedi figures i don't know did we but it's got some of my favorites in here the gamorian guard even though it's a pretty common figure for vintage stuff still one of my favorite i think i have three of those um admiral akbar i just his staff is funny yak face i mean people want a yak face i picked up i finally got a vintage yak face what two three years ago um up until then I, that was like the last figure i needed for my original uh star wars collection now i'm just got three droids figures left mon mothma a brand new figure it's really great to get wicket another one of my favorites and uh the emperor's royal guard another one of my favorites so lots of favorites for me um i know some people are like oh it's kind of a lame pack here but i like it uh it's it's interesting though to look at this there are no main heroes here unless you count wicket uh and, or adam Akbar, i guess there's no Luke, no Leia, no Han, no Chewie, no 3PO, no R2-D2. It's all other people, which is, it's kind of cool. And some of my favorites. And I think it's one area I like Return of the Jedi. I love the costumes and the helmets and everything in it. So let's just go through these one at a time, starting with the Gamorrean. So here's our Gamorrean. Um, I love the card art on this. I, I remember 1986, my grandparents took me on a cruise to Alaska. And there was a whole children's thing to do there. And I would do um, like bingo and stuff. I kept winning figures. And one of those figures I remember winning was a Gamorrean guard way back when. So you can see the back still kind of boring. They, they need to do something more on the back of the retro figures. It's just kind of boring. You know, they could, much like the TVC, put a picture of the actual vintage figure here. That'd be kind of cool. But here we go. And it's got the giant retro sticker, which but some people hate. Whatever. Uh, it does cover up some of the great picture, which was all the fun of these vintage cards. Uh, and our Gamorrean. So let's open them up. Check them so out. Most of these retros are molds taken off of production figures. So the features tend to be a little bit softer. But I, he looks great. It's like a brand new Gamorrean guard. It looks so cool. Um, I love it. The, the Gamorrean, as I said, was one of my favorites. Of course, this uh, part of this figure was reused as the Fire Tuck figure for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. It's kind of cool. He does come with his axe, which is more of a Kenner thing. We've had a few figures that came with this sort of axe just as a uh, homage to that Kenner figure. I don't think they actually had axes like this in the show. And there we go. He can hold it pretty well. So there's our Gamorreans. Next, we have Admiral Akbar. And, you know, I look at some of these, and if these had been released individually, I probably wouldn't have bought two sets. I bought two sets because I had to have these two open, and I wanted carded of everything. Um, but, like, a lot of these, I already have the vintage ones, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but here, Admiral Akbar, I love his staff and everything. He looks very shiny. And, of course, the back is boring. Let's open him up. So here's Admiral Akbar. He is shinier than I ever remember my vintage ones ever being. But it's it's kind of cool. I think mine, his tips of his fingers broke off years ago. Nice representation of this figure. I love it. And his little staff has, you know, no point at all. But, of course, we have his staff. And those of us who have Akbar from a kid remember having that staff so it's kind of a silly figure and yet so cool to have it takes back takes me back on this one so next we have Yak Face who you know as many people have said this is our first time really getting a vintage Yak Face released in the United States like this because he was not released in the U.S. back when this is a figure I had no clue who it was until the 90s when I got back into collecting uh, not long before Power of the Force 2 came out and I heard about this guy, Yak Face. I'd never heard of him. And, you know, he was selling for, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 bucks. I'm not going to pay that much for a figure. I think I paid almost $300 for mine a few years back. And, you know, compared to today's prices, uh, that's nothing now. But um, 
it's kind of cool to get a nice yak face. And for some people who don't want to pay an exorbitant amount of money, this is a way to get a yak face and have some sort of placeholder in their collection, if they will. He comes with his staff and, and all that. So let's go ahead and open him. So here he is, yak face in, uh, out in here. It's kind of crazy. I'm glad that I have my own, so I don't have to worry about this being kind of my representation of yak face. But I can see for some people, it's like, hey, it's finally a vintage yak face. Um, and it's produced by Hasbro. Um, you can see this is the one with the ears. I guess there are some yak faces out there being put out without ears. I think I'm glad I got the one with the ears. It's a little more accurate. Ultimately, when you look at yak face, he's nothing really special. What makes him special is that it just it was an unknown figure. It's just such a rare figure um, for so many people, and they didn't have him. You know, if you grew up like me and you'd bought all these Star Wars figures to find out that there was a Star Wars figure existed that you didn't even know existed. That's kind of cool to be like, oh, wow, there, there, there's something new. But to get him is like, oh, okay, it's another job as alien. I don't think he's as cool as something like Squidhead or Reyes, but some people probably disagree with me on that. But there we go, Yak Face. Next, we have a brand new figure in Mon Mothma. We've never had a vintage Mon Mothma. I love it when Hasbro does this, when they give us figures we never had. In, in the vintage form. Uh, so far we have Tarkin, then we had the Snow Speeder Luke, and now we get Mon Mothma. And I think this is a great figure to continue. I'm hoping for many more. I mean, honestly, Hasbro could do full six packs like this box of figures that were never made in the original um, vintage era, and uh, we'd snap it up. I, I've loved what Hasbro's done with like the Book of Boba Fett, and Mandalorian, and Ahsoka figures. Uh, and Obi-Wan, all that, where we're getting brand new retro style figures. I'd love to see more retro style figures of things we never had, like Sand Trooper, um, uh, sorry, a Rebel Fleet Trooper, you know, Biggs, Wedge, stuff like that. It'd be great to get more of that. But here, we get Mon Mothma. We did get one. And it's interesting to note, we've never had a vintage collection uh, figure of Mon Mothma. So this is, this picture's never appeared on a vintage card at all before, until now. Uh, and of course, here's the boring back. So let's take a look at her. So, I mean, let's be honest. This would have been a total peg warmer. Everybody would have six of these in their collection if she were put out back in 84, 83. Um, this is Mon Mothma. It's, a, it's not a exceedingly exciting figure to get. Um, uh, probably just a little bit more popular than the, the Emperor's, um, what was that dude's name? Uh, the, the, uh, the guys that came with the Emperor, I can't remember what, what his name is. People are shouting it at me, I know. Uh, anyway, uh, boring figure. But I do like that, you know, she has the robed legs, uh, much like the Emperor and that sort of thing, to where we get this, uh, this style of legs. I like that. Uh, nice detail on it. Very much a retro figure. It's kind of weird that she comes with a Leia blaster. Um, you'd think she'd come with a staff or something like Maydeen and Akbar, but whatever, I'll take it. Uh, so here we go. This is Mon Mothma retro figure. This is cool. I do love it. Even though I know if this had been put out in the vintage era, it would have been a total peg warmer. Next we have Wicket. This was one of my favorite figures as a kid. I remember I could not wait for Wicket and Tebow to came out. I got an allowance of a dollar a week uh, back in 1983, and uh, I'd have to save up for two weeks to go to figure, because uh, at the BX there, uh, Edwards Air Force Base, uh, Star Wars figures were $1.95, and so for $2, I could get a figure I saved up, and went, I remember I had a whole song, it was Wicked W. Warwick and Tebow, to, when I went to go buy these two, I was so excited to get them. It's amazing I can remember that today. So let's look at Wicket. He's tiny, but I still love it. I don't usually comment about the packaging so much, but here we actually have an insert tray for the spear. Back in the vintage days, they just taped it to the side. So it's interesting that they do a whole set of plastic just for that spear. So it's great to get a Wicket that, you know, his now nose is fully painted. A lot of vintage Wickets out there. He's got a nose rub. Comes with his spear, looks good. His cloak or his hood, whatever you want to call it, still comes off, a little teddy bear underneath. Really got kind of that rubbery plastic there. You know what these need? Anybody who's of my age would understand. What these need is the smell of opening a vintage figure. There's a specific smell of the plastic gassing or whatever that uh, I, I know there was a Sarlacc meeting many, many years ago. Somebody opened a vintage figure and we passed that around the smell because it was just, it was the smell of our childhood. I know it sounds dumb and silly, but uh, it really did. A vintage figures had a specific smell when you opened them. It's kind of like a new car smell, but I'd call it a vintage figure, newly opened smell. But here we have Wicket and he is awesome. I love it. I know he's small, uh, but... 
I've always loved Wicket. I've always loved the Ewoks, so it's really great to get a new version of our vintage Wicket. Finally, our final figure here is the Emperor's Royal Guard, and he comes on. This is the original card art, isn't it? Um, previously, Kenner or Hasbro had been using a different card art for the Royal Guard, and here we finally have the original vintage artwork, which I think they use with the Black Series as well. Hopefully they get a vintage collection with him. I know my buddy Chris would really enjoy that. Uh, but Royal Guard was one of my favorites as a kid. And so let's look at him and find out why he's so cool. So our Royal Guard, I thought he was cool. Number one, red is my favorite color and always has been. So an all red figure is cool. But I always loved that I, I like cloth goods. And I love the cloth goods that they did on the, the vintage uh, Return of the Jedi figures. And with him, he's got the cloak on the outside and then a second robe underneath. I, I thought that it was just so cool that they would do that with two sets of, of cloth parts. And I just thought they looked cool. You didn't know a whole lot about them. They just stood there looking cool, basically. And that was it. And so it was really cool to, to get a new one. And it looks great. And I know, you, you know, we look at our, our vintage figures here. Somebody once said that they're, they're a bunch of figures, the Jedi figures. Everybody's just holding a staff or a spear. And there's not many guns. I mean, Mon Mothma, maybe that's why she came with a gun. So somebody actually has a gun instead of a staff here. But um, it's funny. But, I mean, that is what the Royal Guard war, uh, held was his big force pike thing here. So uh, I love it. I love the helmet. I love the, the cloth goods on it. This is such a great figure. I'm really glad they put it out. Um, and all in all, I like this. I know it's there's no uh, heroes here or anything. There's no like main main characters, but this is a cool set. And I hope Hasbro continues to do some more like this. I know we're getting the, uh, the Phantom Menace Wave one um, here in a few months from Target. But uh, these are great. I, I, I love these vintage figures. I hope we keep getting more like Mon Mothma that are figures that we've never had before. Um, you know, where do they go from here? They've done, a, you know, a, a couple figures for each movie now uh, from the original trilogy. Do they do box sets of figures never made? Do they go back and do a second wave like they did for Star Wars or Hero Jedi? They never did a second wave with Empire, did they? You know, it'd be interesting to see what they do. Not just with retro figures in general, because I know we're going to continue to see retro figures for the, the new Disney Plus series and things like that. But I would love, uh, you know, obviously we're hitting Phantom Menace, which is cool. But to go back to the era of vintage and to see if we get any more retro figures of either things that were produced or things that never happened. I mean, wouldn't it be cool to see some unproduced figures that, that never happened? I've seen a few. Be cool to, to get them. Um, I'm thinking of, oh, there's a Luke Jedi that's a, that's a little different out there. Um, oh, will they do, like, droids and Ewoks or anything like that? Uh, it'd be interesting to see. So this is our second wave of retro Return of the Jedi figures. Lots of fun. Thank you for watching.